James, welcome to Lancashire here at Southport. Um, how have you found your first few days at the club? Uh, no, it's been good fun. I've settled in, settled in uh, reasonably well. The boys have, have welcomed me uh, with open arms, so I've, uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed my time. It was nice to get down to Southport and be around the group before Friday night's uh, T20. It looks like you've settled in straight away with the squad. Yeah, it's been good. I've had a couple of net sessions uh, before, the, before the start of play here, so it's, no, they've, been, they've been good. And um, yeah, look, obviously you've got a couple more days until we play on Friday, but um, yeah, they've all been very, very, uh, very good so far. And I imagine you'll be looking forward to making your debut for Lancashire uh, on Friday. Yeah, looking forward to it. Obviously, it's nice to start with the, the T20 game, and then um, Sunday's big one um, against Surrey. So um, look, there's obviously a lot of cricket, cricket to come, but yeah, it'd be nice to start with a win and, and contribute with the boys. And obviously you're playing all competitions for us. You must be looking forward to getting the, the red ball in hand as well as the white ball. Yeah, yeah. Look, it's been a long time to be honest. Um, and I've got the opportunity to play some red ball cricket and string some games together. So, yeah, look, I'm looking forward to, to bowling with the Duke and, and obviously facing it as well. And hopefully there's runs and wickets around the corner. You've seen the boys beat Derbyshire here today. Do you fancy us for promotion this year? Yeah, well, obviously it was a, an unbelievable first session to wrap up the game. I um, don't think you could have asked for a better out, better outcome. And, um, yeah, look, there's no reason why we can't finish right up there uh, this season, but like I said, there's a lot of cricket to be played. And finally, obviously, you've replaced uh, your Australian colleague, Peter Siddle. Did you have a chance to catch up with him before he sh shot off? No, I saw a couple of scores and he looked like he did reasonably well, so I know he enjoyed his time and he said the boys were good and no, he was spot on with what he told me. So, um, yeah, look, obviously, wish Pete all the best with the, with the test coming up.